will do. No pressure, Will, but every single star person in the world will probably be watching this when it goes out. Yeah, thanks, Ed. I really love that. <laughs> For the past seven and a half years, Prince William's career in the armed forces has been closely followed. From the moment the young officer passed out at Sandhurst, receiving his wings from a proud father <laughs> to a three-year deployment as a search and rescue pilot at RAF Valley. Every day you come in to work and you don't quite know what's going to happen. It's quite exciting in that sense. It's unpredictable. But at the same time, it's great that you get to go out and actually save someone's life, hopefully. In fact, the Duke rescued 149 people in total. But his deployment wasn't without controversy. The future king spent six weeks in the Falkland Islands in 2012. One thing we mustn't expect is Prince William to end his career in the URAF and military duties and then all of a sudden be ploughing into three, four hundred engagements a year as the Duke of Cambridge. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it'll be a transitional period. So, with no military role and no desire quite yet to embrace royal duties full time, some might argue this leaves William in limbo, delaying the inevitable. But Kensington Palace insists this is valuable time for the Duke to focus on his own interests, namely his charitable royal foundation, his passion for conservation and establishing new collaborations like United for Wildlife. The vulnerability of the elephants and the rhinos, you'd think something that big and it's been around so long would have worked out a way to avoid being caught and um, you know persecuted, but they, they really don't. They are incredibly vulnerable and... I feel a huge amount of protection and a real protective instinct. Um, more so now probably now I'm a father than I do ever before, which is why I'm getting quite emotional about it. With his time in the military now at an end, for William, Kate and of course Prince George, it's time to return to the Duke's childhood home here at Kensington Palace. And with the £1 million refurbishment of apartment 1A now at an end, the family plans to move in in the next few weeks. <laughs> We're told Prince William's also using the coming months to consider how best to serve the public as a modern royal. But until those details emerge, he has time to settle into fatherhood. <laughs>